What's the hold up? Let's move. We've got trouble. Theo, what do you see? Definitely moving around in the trees. No clear line. Oh, f Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. My name is Vicente, and we are getting down to the wire. The final two episodes. This one will be episode 9, Winnipesaukee. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think that's what Clarissa said. Which makes me think that Amos and Clarissa will make it to Winnipesaukee and try to get one of those uh, rich folk vessels and get off the planet. But who's coming with them? Will Eric come? How many people will he be bringing? Are they going to be trying to get many of the shuttles uh, to get a bunch of people off? Or will it just be one shuttle they're taking? Um, that will be interesting to figure out. And what kind of obstacles will they encounter on the way? Because who knows, there may already be some rich people and all of their friends holding up on this island who knows if they like retreated there when shit was hitting the fan so those could be potential obstacles um i'm also wondering how much the Sir, uh, secretary general is considering attacking pelas and potentially killing innocent civilians which could only rally the belters further in opposing the inners but it looks like after the attack on earth emotions are high and people are out for blood and it will be hard to stop people when emotions are so high uh, i just hope this uh this new secretary general doesn't make this kind of mistake he doesn't need that kind of blood on his hands I mean, he's not really a politician anyway, he's just, what, an engineer or something? And now that Drummer's crew has heard that the message has changed, how is that going to stir things up on the ship? Are they going to tell Drummer? She's got to hear sooner or later. I think lines are going to be drawn, especially with, what's her name? Marcos' uh, uh, big ally on their ship. Her and her blue lips. She just keeps smirking at everyone else's misery and I hate her for it. Hopefully they just uh, pop two between her eyes and they won't have to deal with her anymore. But of course, a few of her crew are supportive of just working for Marco now. So I think she's going to have some trouble gaining the support of even her entire crew to help out with Naomi. But hopefully the message change doesn't go unnoticed by Bobby and Alex, and of course, uh, Holden, and hopefully they can realize that approaching would be a bad idea, and hopefully they can get around it. But yeah, I think shit's about to hit the fan, and I'm ready for it. Let's see how this turns out. If you are interested in watching any of my unedited reactions, go ahead and hop on over to my Patreon. You can see the About section there for a full list of all the content I have available, which will of course include this season and Season 4 of The Expanse. I do appreciate all of your support, but let's go ahead and jump into this episode. The distress call you created, it stopped, and before it stopped, it changed to this. Naomi the God has not... <laughs> uh, that sucks that now you're aware too, but fuck so you. first picked this up, the distress call said she had no control in half. That really seemed random to you? Nope. That's why she was repeating it. She was just trying to send out the words that she wanted. Start to fail. Transmitter begins dropping out. But if it cut off, why are you still trying? Oh, is it ice for water? Yeah, ice crystals for water. Gotta get something to drink. You need fluids. Now what are you thinking? Damn, I hope she survives. 
But I mean, if this is... What is the next season? Season 6 going to be the final season? Or is there going to be one more after that? I heard next season was going to be the last, so... They may f- kill off someone this season. Will it be Naomi? I know there's a lot of controversy around um, the actor that plays Alex as well, so who knows, they might kill him off as well. Maybe him and Bobby go to the ship and all of them blow up. And that could be a likelihood at this point. And that will definitely amp up the emotion and the rage in Holden going into the final season. I hope that doesn't happen, but it's a possibility. Oh shit! Okay, they were able to get there quickly. Can they find the keys? <laughs> Are we gonna meet any resistance? Is there anybody home? Or if no one's home, there could still be squatters or looters or any number of other people in the area. That was easy, no locks. Don't shoot. Fuck. Don't shoot. Where are the winter staff? Why are you guys hiding in here? Who gives a fuck? What about the shuttle? Is it lunar capable? Yeah, but the ship hasn't flown in a while. Not since I started working here two years ago. They're not a problem. They just worked there. Batteries still work. Batteries won't get us in orbit. It'd help if they had Naomi with them. She'd know how to get her up and running. Fuck. You son of a bitch. You went behind my back. I should have told you about Palace when I made my decision. If we continue to attack civilian targets. The way Inaros did to us. Is he our role model now? Exactly. My job is to make our people safer and to reduce the enemy's ability to hurt us as quickly as possible. But becoming murderers yourselves is not the answer. My Arjun is dead. And I'd sacrifice everything to bring him back. I am truly sorry for your loss. But we can't let emotion make these choices. You're letting emotion make your choices. There is nothing rational or objective about this. It's the biggest port of the belt. Ceres and Paulus denied. (sighs) Fucking amateur. Piece of shit. It's a bold move. There are millions of people in Ceres. Hundreds of thousands of children. What are the scenarios for a full-scale attack? Is the intention to incapacitate or... They're not even listening. ...be a part of this. Fuck. You'll have to accept mine as well, sir. Jesus, Dane. Mine. We're supposed to be better than this. She has allies in the room. Fuck. Can this situation get any worse? The Chazamoka has not changed course. Even if Naomi is alive. Looks like she doesn't have control of the ship. That may not last long. You will keep your silos. Someone kill her, please. Pretty, pretty, please. Whatever's causing a reactor shutdown, it has to be mechanical, electrical, or software. Mm. Oh, that narrows it down. Anything that exists. We saw your helicopter. We've been waiting for evacuation for weeks. We're running low on supplies. We're not here to evacuate you or give you anything, so fuck off. We're trying to fix the shuttle in that hangar and take it up to Luna. You guys are welcome to come. That's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do, Amos. Anyone wants to leave better be at this hangar by the time the ship is ready. Don't be a problem, Eric. Together you will intercept and engage the Rosinante. Destroying it is your first and only priority. <laughs> you have your orders. There was so much oomph behind that cheer, wasn't there? You said that the Rasanate was burning to a trap. You pledge your loyalty and the lives of your faction. You withdrawing that key? Yes, bitch. No. <sighs> it needs to be done. We will do it. Three more cabinet ministers just resigned. A no confidence vote is being scheduled for tomorrow. Pastor's gonna lose. Madam Avasarella, if you were nominated to lead us again, would you serve? Oh, here we go. That's what I like to hear. Christian back in charge. Oh my God. They picked you. Peach, is he asleep up there? 
He's not here. He just stepped out. God damn it. Where the fuck did he step out to? Timmy, outside now. We got trouble. This is the most pathetic shakedown I've ever seen. You must be new at this. Why don't you blow me, Rent Boy? No one here is giving you anything. Well, if you think I'm being like Here's the trouble. You complain to the authorities. Oh, right, there are no authorities now. Exactly. No. So why don't you shut the fuck up and do what I told you to do? Just walk away. And hopefully that doesn't cause trouble. They may be back. You know they'll be back. I appreciate Clarissa trying to do the right thing and not being a murderer anymore, but uh, I hope that doesn't get more people killed in the long run. Now he's got you keeping secrets from me, too. How much shit do I have to eat before you treat me with some respect? You tell her. It's possible that Naomi is still alive on that ship. If we are disloyal now, we'll be killed. Fuck them. Fuck them all, drummer. They're not with you. He calls you Peaches. Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you call him Timmy? Because that's his name. Should I ask? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> we got it. That power coupling was tripping all the power when it got the juice. I yanked it and ran a bypass. Hopefully the extra load won't set the ship on fire. It fucking worked. Okay, I'll secure everything <laughs> down here. You guys do pre-launch. Let's get the fuck out of here. And hopefully those assholes don't show up in that time. What's the hold up? Let's move. We've got trouble. Theo, what do you see? Definitely moving around in the trees. No clear line. Oh, fuck. Link's right on the deck if you have to. Your bike flat. Oh, shit. Is someone coming in the back? Are you happy now, Clarissa? Fuck. Go! She killed them all! With her bare hands! I'm gonna be a lot nicer to her from now on. <laughs> oh, but now she's drained as fuck. Get her inside! Finish pre flight! Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah! Burn them all! <sighs> Lift off. Don't pass out, girl. You need to fly. <laughs> You've been keeping to yourself. It's in the tank you wanted to see. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. What the fuck are you for? sorry about? I wish that were true. I brought Naomi here. Now she's gone. And he's to be like, yes, she's totally gone. <clears throat> because of me. Don't quite. Well, thank you for your honesty, but does this help? She did her walk into that airlock out of sadness or despair. There's the catch. She was just leaving us again. She left us both. Uh, Marco, you son of a bitch. What's going on in your head now, Naomi? So a lot of that was focusing on Clarissa and Amos just trying to get off of Earth, which they finally did, though with casualties, which, to be fair, are kind of on Clarissa's hands, because they had the chance to get rid of those asshole uh, security guards who were trying to shake them down, but she saved their lives only to have them come back and kill a bunch of their people and die anyway. So... Sometimes a soft heart does get you killed, 
but at least they were able to save all of those poor like house workers that were stuck there and running low on supplies so give and take I guess uh, but I'm wondering they said that they were headed to Luna but what are they gonna do from there are they gonna be able to hook up with everyone else oh I guess Avasarala is still there so at least uh, Amos can hook up with her but how are they gonna handle with Clarissa being on board as well because I'm I doubt that uh, Christian will be very forgiving of uh, Clarissa and it looks like with the vote of no confidence uh, Christian may also be in power again so at least she'll be able to help Amos and maybe offer support to them. The thumbnail came up for the next episode and it actually shows Holden with Christian. But I assume that'll be like resolution after all of the action because he's still on his way to Marcos's ship or his fleet, his uh, navy, if you will. And it's heading towards that big final showdown. But yeah, besides them finally getting off the planet, like, it really didn't focus on anyone else, so I assume that everything else is going to get resolved in this. But we'll see what kind of cliffhanger it ends on. I can imagine it'll probably be another big one. And it being November 10th when I'm watching this entire season, that gives me like a month until I have to wait for season 6. It also gives me a month to get all these loaded on Patreon and of course edited for YouTube while also working on What If, and, well, What If is easy, because those are like 30 minute episodes, and then Hawkeye. Whoo! But in the final battle coming up, I think that the series is due a major death. I think some emotional weight might have to happen. Seeing uh, Holden and Christian in this uh, thumbnail makes me think that, of course, they're going to survive because they're the main heroes, but who else could possibly die? As I was stating earlier, like, this may be the end of Naomi. Maybe as they're trying to approach and save her, she might consider risking the lives of all the people coming to save her isn't worth it and she will sacrifice her own life in order to protect them so that they don't fall into the booby trap. It would be a noble death. It would spark a lot of anger in Holden and the rest of the crew. And it will also be a big fuck you to Marco and uh, Philip. But for the final season, I'm hoping that at least Marco does not survive this, or smirky bitch that's on Drummer's crew. I hope they both die, slowly and painfully. Uh, but I also think the possibility is they might kill off Alex. Because I do know there was controversy, and there was the whole cancel the actor because of it, and if Amazon chose to not continue with him in the series because of that they may have gotten rid of him but i don't know if did that controversy happen before or after this season aired maybe it was after so we might still live yeah i'm actually not too sure about that who knows maybe if it did happen maybe they'll just like kill him off at the beginning of next season but either way, I think there is still a big possibility that Naomi might die. But let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments down below. Um, I guess don't worry about spoilers, because I mean, by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll, I will have most likely seen the entire season, because I'm about to watch the next episode right now. <laughs> so I'll know. But uh, what did you think of this episode? What were your predictions at this time? Um, who did you think might die if you were thinking that at the time? And uh, we'll see if I'm right next episode. 
But uh, yeah, support me on Patreon and hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like these. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.